And we're live. Hey, hey. Hello, the people of the Facebook. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, me and Graham are coming to you today to talk to you um, a little about, well, I'm sure everyone has noticed uh, the amount of uh, live streams and videos and stuff people have been posting during all this and... Uh, Needless to say, some are good, some are bad, and uh, we're hopefully going to give a few tips and tricks how to make your videos somewhat better. Uh, I don't really, well I do videos, obviously vlogs and stuff, and these kind of videos from my house, and uh, then <coughs> Graham would be at the other end of it where he does the live streams, etc., uh, from his house so we're kind of at two different ends of that so Graham is uh, probably going to ask me a few questions and annoy me and uh, we have a few different setups and stuff going on that we'll run through and hopefully it helps a few people out yeah <laughs> yeah nice so Graham you're uh you're a performer, obviously, and uh, you're kind of locked in the house for the past uh, wee while. And you're now, you well, not now, but you've started doing your live streams, stuff like that, more or less every week. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you've maybe done it more than once a week, but at minimum, it's once a week anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so just run us through uh, how you do that and any sort of issues you come when come up with when you're doing that and ways you would like to make it better and then hopefully that'll get us rolling cool well yeah so i started doing them probably the first week of lockdown and it was kind of a i set my phone on a kettlebell that i had with the front facing camera <laughs> while i sat while i sat cross-legged on the floor with my acoustic guitar that was cool. It was okay, but I wanted something a bit better. So I started plugging into my PA system and putting my phone sort of like on my speaker, like lent against it. And that was cool, but it kept, it kept falling over and it didn't sound as good as I really wanted it to. So the way I started fixing the sound of it was I have this little interface that William Martin very kindly sent to me that he wasn't using. Oh yes. And, uh, it's one of these cool little one mic, one guitar ones. Like you can, there's a whole bunch of them you can buy. They're really good. But I started plugging into that through my PA system. So I was able to get, you know, like reverb and stuff to make it not so dry and stuff like that. Yeah. But then that kind of fixed the problem of the sound to an extent. You know, it's not too bad. I just change it on Facebook Live. So it's not the default audio uh, of my yeah, laptop. Yeah. It's yeah. the it's, uh, the interface. But I'm stuck with the video thing. Uh, I'm using my webcam. And it's for lack of a better term brutal looking it's really yeah it's super blur it's it, it's it's super blurry but i guess that's not the only problem which is why i have a bunch of questions to ask because uh a couple of people have actually mentioned that it was funny i was talking to my friend amory yesterday and she said it's grand this sounds fine but your backdrop is awful yes uh -huh. so i was just wondering is there angles lighting kind of things i can do to make what i have even look a wee bit better yeah so that would probably be one of the biggest things most people because they're in their house they're kind of stuck with the backdrop of their kitchen or their living room and stuff like that and most of the time it looks really bad because yeah. and you're probably one of the lucky ones because uh, you're just in your own bedroom and you have no kids no nothing like that there's people i've seen where it's like you know not the kids running in the background but you can definitely see that the you know it's a lived-in house and uh, their backdrop to their video is just their everyday life kitchen and it yeah. looks brutal um now fairly fairly simple things you can do to fix that is tidy up have like a tidy space around you uh you can kind of tell when there's like a cluttered sort of thing going on 
I feel personally this, this attacked. Isn't, this isn't directed at you. <laughs> Personal attack. <laughs> but yeah, you're an absolute pig. <laughs> it, yeah, that's that's a big thing that I see. A lot of people have their um, rooms in a bit of a state that they're doing their live stream in, and you know, fair enough. That's uh, you know, that's your house. You can't make your house look any different. But even if it's just like a corner of your house that's like half decent looking or something like that, you, you can kind of make things look better just by, it's kind of like this webcam, this webcam kind of looks, I'm up in my room and it looks crap, my backdrop's kind of crap here, and that's just sort of, you know, there's nothing I can do about that, um, but this way because this is the way that my computer set and everything and this you know yes i could maybe put like a there's there's like backdrops you can buy on amazon i don't know if you've seen but uh, it's kind of like uh, you can buy them in packs with like a green screen and then a white backdrop and a black backdrop and stuff like that you know even something like that would be fine you just hang it up and yeah. it normally comes with like brackets and you put it up behind you and it just drapes down around the frame um like that's a very simple thing getting amazon 20 quid or something and you know it's kind of it's a really simple simple thing to do uh, yeah. another thing you can do is lighten as well uh, uh what i find a lot of people doing is uh, they just use like the main lighting in their house and yeah. that lighting isn't really you know you're just your normal like led or halogen bulbs in your house uh, they're not really flatter and lighting for yeah. uh, most people uh you're sometimes better turning off all your lights and getting like a uh, there's a brand uh, newer 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 they're called uh not yeah. newer but newer <laughs> uh, spelled n-e-e-w-e-r and mm -hmm. they make like budget camera gear and stuff like that but they make uh uh little lights uh i've one over there but i don't want to get up and get it because the camera is attached to it and that's for later um but uh, they make like budget uh, uh lights and you can buy them for about 30 quid and if, even if you're in a crappy wee room if you go into the corner of the room turn off all your lights not too much lighting going on and just light yourself it can make all the difference yeah. it can literally look like you know you've set a whole different scene just for yeah. that and uh, it it changes the whole sort of look of everything you see even people sitting in like their wee home studios and they've just turned off all the lights i'm literally just quoting myself turned off all the lights and maybe put like an led strip or something up and uh, just lit themselves with like a simple little newer light or something like that and uh, yeah it can really make a lot of difference to uh, like the actual performance video it just makes it yeah. look a lot more professional uh, apart from that yes you can go further and you can buy more expensive lighting and stuff like that and maybe have like a if you have a music room or something like that setting it up um, that's like now this is kind of going from the say that if someone's doing it on their webcam or something like that uh, it can you know it can kind of it can add a bit of something to it uh, the only other thing you can do is uh, well we can even let me just get my phone going here uh, so there's other programs and stuff that kind of make your thing a bit more professional looking as well yeah. so now we're trying to keep this all like budget uh people yeah. that don't want to spend money and stuff like that uh so the program that we're using at the moment to do this live stream uh, is a program called obs uh obs is a free program it's a bit of a headache to work yourself around it but uh when you kind of get around it you're grand um but there's a lot of cool things that you know like this backdrop that we have here of the desk uh we've got our logo up here we've got the writing and all down here social media stuff up in the corner and all you know that really even if you have a crappy looking backdrop it 
can actually make a bit of a difference yeah because it can it can just make your stream look because you know we've had people say to us that uh, someone was saying to me yesterday that uh, you know this live stream even the last it was the last one we did looked really professional and to me it looked kind of yeah kind of crappy because it just had a black back good drop and everything but it looked you know it did what we needed to do at the time yeah but adding pictures and stuff like this can really it can really spruce it up a little bit and just make it that bit more professional uh there's a guy uh what's his name what's his name played that festival that you played at uh, which one kerrigan uh, oh davy yeah um, davy k he does his live stream every week and he uses obs as well and yeah. uh, he has his logos he has his paypal tip jar and all that kind of stuff on it now fair enough he's playing and like it seems to be like his rehearsal space or studio space or whatever he has at home yeah but uh, it just makes it look far better uh having logos and other bits and pieces on it and uh, you know it, that can make a serious serious difference to how professional your video looks yeah, and you can also use the logos to cover up wee bits of the room. You don't want to be bad tidying as well. You yeah, know? like if, if you have a pair of dirty boxes lying <laughs> on the floor, you can just, just put, put a wee Facebook over logo over the top. Yeah, yeah it's, it's sort of, it's handy. What do you think the, Before- this logo is here? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just going to get my phone going here. Uh, I've got... Now, once again, um, we're trying to keep things as budget as possible. But yeah. uh, uh, OBS is free, uh, but there is OBS has its own like plugins and stuff like that, uh, and you can actually add your phone and stuff like that to it. Um, now it costs money. I think it's maybe like eight pound or ten or something to get the app on your phone to allow uh-huh. you to plug your phone into OBS and project it and all that kind of stuff, but. A tenner is nothing really. Um, when we were talking about buying lights and stuff, 20, 30 quid, like uh, a tenner for an app uh, that lets you plug it into OBS and you get to put all your logos and stuff like that on it, it can look uh, quite cool actually. Uh, so I'm just going to switch over to the phone here. Now I've just got it set up the tripod beside me. Uh, it's nothing really special per se, um, uh-huh. but it kind of it just adds that sort of. You know, you, you'll see the, the phone takes in differently than a webcam does. The webcam kind of brightens the room up to make your face a bit more bright and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm just going to switch over here and hope that it works. Boom. So that's the phone. So now I'm just, I just have the phone here. I'll let you see as well, Graham. There you go. Sweet. Uh so the phone is just going into OBS and you can see Wee Graham's head down here in the corner. Um but there's stuff like that I can add in. Uh I'm gonna try and add stuff in here and see what happens. Uh but you can see the way the phone's a lot darker and it takes light in a little bit better than uh, anything else. Um where's my text and no, I just can't do it because I'm actually live at the moment, I think. I think that's... Well, I can see something that says hello. You're moving it across the screen. Uh, I don't know if anyone else can see it because it's not showing up on uh, the program. But it's probably because I'm live at the minute. Um, no. Let me just put that there. And transition. Yeah, there we go. Everyone can see that now. Is it working? Oh. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like you can you can do things like that in it and it is it's quite cool. Um and you can do this on the fly as well. So you can add stuff in, blah blah blah. Uh but you can see here I've literally got like an LED strip thing behind my desk. Uh, that's just lighting up uh, now the camera doesn't look that great because I haven't even configured it at all all I've really done is uh, just uh, I've just fired it up and everything's in auto because I can't be bothered but you can get it really looking really well on your phone messing around with stuff um, so it's something that you can definitely 
try out. Um, it's it's really handy for if you don't have a good webcam and your phone's maybe better than your webcam. Uh, yeah. Because most webcams are really crappy and most built oh, yeah. webcams are absolute trash. So getting your phone, plug it into your computer, all you need is just your charger cable. Yeah. And you just plug it in and away you go. Straight and it's it's so easy to set up. Like I literally did this in about two minutes. Honestly, it was so easy. Uh, but yeah, it's it is really handy. And hold on, we'll just switch back to the original view. Yeah, so things like that, using your phone to shoot the video rather than your webcam can make it a lot better. Uh, a few extra lights, a bit of color in it. I see a lot of people doing videos and there's no color and it's just plain white and whatever your walls are painted and stuff like that. Most of the time it's very boring and crappy looking. So just get a bit of color into the video, even if you have like lights from playing gigs or whatever, just set them up in the background or yeah. do something. As long as you're visible and your sort of backdrop is colorful and looking half decent, you can normally get, yeah, you can normally look quite well. Funny, I had a couple of uh, thoughts earlier on while you were talking. Uh, you mentioned Davy K. He actually has a really, if you're in a band, there's a chance you've got like a backdrop that you use for gigs. Yes, with your, yeah. If you're with your info and stuff on it, they're normally yeah. quite wide and en- wide enough that you could probably stick that behind you and make it sort of the, yeah. the, ma- the majority of the frame. If that's, if that's handy for you. Also, my friend suggested if I have a big white, like a big white wall, which yes. quite a lot of people do yeah. that you can buy pretty cheap projectors off Amazon uh huh. Okay. And stick something, stick something behind you on a projector, even if you want to get yeah. like cool backdrop that changes yeah. on like a loop. That'd be kind of nice, you know. Yeah, and it, they're like twenty band. bucks or something. Remember that band we played with in Dublin that time, and they played like a whole like show, like a whole like twenty minute set or whatever, and they yeah. had the projector in the background projecting stuff, and yeah. it was like visually that was just amazing. Uh, yeah. and it does it comes down to stuff like that where like your backdrop makes a lot of difference to what's going on in the scene and stuff like that because yeah. people as well as watching you they're watching sort of artistically what's going on as well because we're yeah. all artists so yeah, uh, yeah change and stuff like that can make a big big difference definitely uh, so they're sort of tips I have for you know more budget sort of stuff if you know what i mean uh, yeah yeah sure you can go further with that again uh mm-hmm. but before we talk on that uh bef- i would just want to move off the visual side of it a little bit and move sort of uh, towards uh the audio side of things yeah you know it's all great uh you've got your phone you know and like you could have the latest iPhone X or 11 or whatever it is and your camera could look amazing but if your audio is bad it it's going to be uh, to me anyway I feel that it lets a big part of it down oh without a doubt yeah like if especially if excuse me if uh, it's set at the other end of the room and this you can hardly hear anything going on stuff like that it just lets the whole performance and live stream and everything down a large portion. Yeah. Uh, just as we're talking about audio there, uh, Darren Burke, I think, I think that's Burke. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, that's Darren. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, uh, that's Darren, yeah. Has just said, yes, lads, I'm looking to upgrade USB interface. Any recommendations? Uh, swaying towards Focusrite 212. Buy it. Yeah, Just buy it. Buy it. <laughs> Without a doubt, mate. If all you need is the two inputs, yeah. is the two the two, the two I twos literally just mic and it's mic and guitar, isn't it? Yeah, I think the two I two. Maybe the, I know the new version came out. I'm not sure if they upgraded to the two XLRs, but I'm almost sure they kept just the the universal the XLR, multi, yeah, yeah and uh, the quarter inch mm-hmm. jack on it. But darn, it's a great interface, and it is actually one of the interfaces that work really well with OBS, Facebook, most streaming platforms and yeah. uh, loads of other things. It just seems to sync up really well with everything. I'm using the Tascam US 1800 here at home and 
it's it's a fairly big interface. It's got uh, a, you've got your ten analog. No, well, no, you actually have your fourteen analog, but uh, only ten left preamps. But anyway, you have a lot of inputs on it, and it is a. Uh, I wonder if you can insert beep noises in OBS here uh, <laughs> but it is an awful thing to set up for the likes of this it just doesn't like to work um, no. but there's there's ways around and stuff I guess but the 2i2 is probably one of the most affordable and most compatible and best interfaces on the market at the minute yeah Lovely out of the box. Yeah, just out of the box. It never has any problems. The only downside I've ever heard about it is there's firmware issues with it. And I've been in the receiving end of that one time before. But it is a really, really, really good interface. And normally if you have any problems, you contact Focusrite and they sort out no problem. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so like that's a really simple way to get good uh, audio like you were saying about your streams you would use your uh, interface even going into facebook facebook has updated the platform where you can actually yeah. choose which video input you want which audio input you want and yeah. uh, it it works really well uh, you have no other software to use no streaming software to use it just integrates yeah. really well with most stuff uh, especially the 2i2 and all that kind of crack uh, now like interfaces you can get Behringer interfaces as cheap as 50 quid or something nowadays I think. yeah you can get an interface for like 50 or 60 quid yeah even if it's a small like USB converter type thing that you can plug a USB in and uh, XLR like kind of like uh Oh, I can't remember the brand, but uh, you plug it into your computer and there's just an XLR on the other end, plug a microphone in. Even that yeah. will make a difference to your sound. A big difference. Even uh, a USB mic itself, yeah. you know? Like, USB. they're fairly cheap now, you know? Yeah, you, you can buy really crappy cheap ones on Amazon for 20 quid. Like, they'll do the job. They'll probably be better than what you already have. But you're probably just better spend a couple extra pound you can there's the 2i2 for instance you can buy the 2i2 yep. uh, home studio pack or whatever it's called 100 and something pound and you get your interface you get a microphone focus right microphone uh you get a pop filter and i think you get the xlrs and all the cables and everything needed for it and that's all you need uh, yep that you literally have really really good quality stuff coming straight from that and you, that's more or less the only thing you have to buy uh, for your audio. It's a really good, really, really good pack. And there's so many people popping up on Facebook buying it now. Um, other sort of things you can do, maybe if you don't have a computer that uh, you want to do it on or anything like that, uh, there's the iRigs. Um, yep. So the iRigs, I can't actually remember who makes the iRigs. Um but uh, the iRig stuff is like super simple to use. It is literally, it plugs straight into your phone. Now I know most Apple phones now have got rid of the headphone jack and replaced it with that I know enlightening thing, but you get the adapter and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you, you literally just plug it straight in, plug your microphone, you can get it all the way from the, now I don't know model names, but uh, I know the, cheapest one is just a jack input uh, but it goes all the way up to getting you know ones with two jack inputs and stuff like that as far as I know and uh, like just that with a microphone plugged into it into your phone Facebook live boom you're sorted yeah done like you've made like a vast improvement on your stream straight away without doing anything major what 20 30 quid or something they are yeah, I found one there in gear for music for thirty one fifty. Okay. You can actually get them w way cheaper than that if you Sweet. want. Uh, the, like they and are. That's all you need. Like they are really cheap. Now you can go a step further. Say you have an interface or you have a a rig or something like that. Uh, you can maybe do what you we're doing so you can go in if you have a if you're a gigging musician you're bound to have some sort of a desk or something along the lines of that 
Yeah. Uh, so you can go into your desk and make some sort of a setup. Uh, maybe if you have a digital desk, reload the scene you use for playing live. You've got your reverb, your compression, all your bits and pieces, everything EQ'd the way it would be live. Come out of that into your iRig, into your focus right, into whatever you have, and literally just send that to your computer, to your iPhone, whatever it is, and you've got your you've got all your effects that you play with live coming through. Maybe there's a little bit of footer needed to get it set up right but yeah it, it it makes a lot of difference having those effects just those sort of things that you have live just to add yeah. more live feel to the actual stream that is one thing that i would say uh it would be a big benefit to have if you do play live to go through your mixer to add some sort of reverb to your voice at the very least because yeah. you would be shocked at what it sounds like when you don't have any when it just comes through dry completely it won't it's be awful. what you think it will be it's, it's awful, awful. <laughs> it, you do you know what the funny bit is is like a lot of people probably wouldn't notice but you will you will notice you yeah, you will notice and all your music and you will not like will it notice <laughs> yeah it's just it's 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 not good a little bit of reverb goes a long way to make your vocals oh, really, sound it, yeah yeah it really does it's even just that tiny bit of subtle reverb even if it's over the top of the whole thing uh, yeah but especially in like vocals or uh a d8 and a acu- acoustic live in facebook yeah. just hurts your ears it actually makes you feel sad no funny my acoustics actually di'd technically well it's not di'd in the sense that i don't have a di box to bring it up to line uh i do it just goes straight in which i guess is di'd but uh some mixers have compression on them yeah. Like the the Yamaha Stage Pass that I have, its mixer that comes with it has built-in compression. Yeah, uh-huh. and artificially adds low end because of how small it is. Oh, so that's something okay. you need to check for when yeah. you're doing a stream. And especially, yeah, obviously realize that what you're hearing out through your speakers isn't necessarily something that's going to translate live. Yeah, on Facebook, so. Maybe do a test, take a listen to it, hear what it sounds like first, and then go from there. Um, yeah. But yeah, simple, really simple things like that make the world a difference. Um, there's other ways yeah. to do it as well. Sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, if you're listening to this and you're going, I don't have a mixer, I have no way to add effects, what am I supposed to do? The answer to that, I would say, is instead of plugging your guitar and your vocals in separately using microphones like me and Orin have now is to buy yourself a condenser microphone yeah instead and just set it up set a wee bit kind further of further back and stuff like that yeah like use the natural reverb in the room yeah it, it just means that you won't have very very dry sound and you won't have uh, obviously you won't have control over the volume of both your yeah power under vocals because it'll just be from the room itself but it'll be leaps and bounds better than it would be if it was just your yeah your phone exactly. or your webcam yeah uh the other uh thing that now it's a bit harder to do um but more complicated um maybe do a video on that separately because it's a lot of sort of messing about with to get it right but uh, uh setting up your DAW now if you have a DAW on your computer even if you have a Mac you probably have GarageBand or Logic or something along the lines of that uh, but setting up your DAW to send the audio to something like OBS and then streaming live to Facebook uh, now that way you can actually have your all your effects studio quality effects even uh, on your sound and then you can even play along with backing tracks in the DAW and stuff like that. There's lots of things that you can do to make the audio quality better rather than just setting your phone up at one end of the room and playing. It just is crap. It <laughs> Just your face there is just like, can you say that? <laughs> I mean, it is, but what I, in the in the interest of being inclusive and not telling you to go out and buy a load of gear, you know, if all you've got is your phone yeah. and you literally can't and you literally can't buy anything else, that's fine. Little things like don't be too far away, don't yeah. be too close. Yes, 
try and make sure that it's a nice distance away that it's not incredible it's not distorting your mic your phone your phone's microphone yeah and also that it's not right up in your face either because like yeah it's it's a balance of both and it's like we said test it you can set it so that you can start a live video that only you can see yeah Uh just set it and then just go and check yeah yeah and make sure that it's cool you know just don't throw your phone at the other end of the room and go tight let's start because it it rarely works out i've done that and look back at it two hours later after i'm done and been like yeah no, that's, that's, that's the that problem. was awful like, if you go to a gig you'll do a sound check yeah the most unprofessional man <laughs> not turning his phone off on while he's on a live stream stevie Hello, Mr. president I, i'm coming for you <laughs> uh yeah so uh audio wise uh just try these things you'll do a sound check when you go and play a gig live so you should do a sound check before you go live on facebook uh so look into uh maybe making your audio better if you can't try and work with it and try and get it as best you can yeah uh, also on the phone on the phone thing just before we just before we move on sorry yes like i said earlier on William Martin, the very, very kind man, got me one of these bad boys. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but this is yeah. a a little tripod that holds your phone. Yeah. And it just means that you can place it somewhere to get a good angle that you're not having to no, compromise actually, by putting it very low. Or I actually have a tripod, but it's just got an <laughs> attachment for my phone. Yeah, and that's cool. Yeah, it does. It does the job. Like, um, yeah. It's the exact same thing you have, but I just uh, accidentally broke it, so took the thing off. <laughs> but it, having your camera set up in something stable is very yep. good. Great. Yeah, you don't want it to fall or anything <laughs> several your times during your live stream. <laughs> I'd have to go, uh, uh, ease mister of... <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Things like that, simple little things you can buy uh, to make your stream just not easier for everyone else, but even easier for yourself. Just like tripod, sitting there, boom, easy. And it's not really a thing for your... This isn't really something for uh, how it looks or how it sounds, but it's kind of the way your performance comes across in a live stream. Having a laptop or an iPad, or anything set up beside you to read the comments that's happening yep. in your video. Because see this whole, who you know what's out there? Oh, there's... That's rotten. I can't, I can't so do it. Bad. It is so bad. Uh, another thing, just on the... We were talking about OBS. OBS is actually... Can go from... As you see what we're doing here... Uh, where we've got this stream going and then we switched over to the iPhone camera and we're going to switch over to another camera right now. But uh, OBS can do so much. Uh, You can actually set up entire multi-camera setup. If you want to go that far with your live stream, you can set up that uh, to for loads of cameras and for it to scroll between the cameras and keep the same audio and maybe it fades between stuff and all that. Uh, it's a really, really good thing to have and I would recommend most people to look into it, even if it's just to add your website or your Facebook URL or your PayPal uh, tip jar or whatever on it. It's a really good thing to look into. Um, But, yeah, so... We sort of talked about, uh, now we're still trying to keep this as budget as possible, uh, working with really the most where we ever said about buying is something like that focus rate pack. And uh, that's just over £100. It's not crazy, crazy money, but uh, it's still money that you don't want to spend. Um, but if you do want to go slightly further, or maybe you do have, maybe like, uh, you know some musicians have a bit of a uh, few other different hobbies like photography and stuff like that so maybe you do have something like a dslr camera in your house uh you can use dslr cameras for live streams now that's sort of like the higher end of getting the uh, good quality stuff uh but 
it is really you know if if i there is quite a few higher end sort of streamers and stuff you see using dslr cameras and it looks fantastic it looks really 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 good and it's definitely something to look into because you can actually pick up secondhand dslrs and ebay for about 100 150 quid and uh, use them now i am totally jerry-rigging this to get it working uh but it looks great uh, and it is really really good for uh, doing anything from live streaming to shooting videos to taking photos uh, so if that's something because this oh, I don't want to bring anything down the dumps here like but uh, this whole live stream thing is probably something that's going to be about for a while yeah because uh, I don't think anything's going to come back to normality uh, as quick as everyone thinks it is that you know bars aren't going to open in a couple of months and you know you're going to be out playing to 500 people yeah that, not that i ever am uh so if you want to invest a few pound in a dslr camera uh you should look into it because you can actually buy a dslr camera for maybe about maximum 200 pound on ebay second hand you can pick one up for about £100. I'm bidding them one at the minute. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, I'm bidding them one at the minute for about £100. And it's basically the exact same thing that I've got going on here. But uh, you pick it up for maybe about 100 150 And then you can actually buy uh, microphone attachments for it as well. And they're really, really good quality. Um, but you can buy them and attach them to your camera and get really really good audio out of that or you can run uh, an output from your desk into the camera and stream that live as well so there's a lot of things that you can do uh, but we'll switch over to the camera here and see the crack so so this is the DSLR I let Graham into that there Yes. No, no. Hello, hello. Graham can't see it. I can see your computer. Sorry, I've just broke something here. Oh. There you go, Graham. Sorry for that violent noise that everyone's hearing right now. But. I have the DSLR set up at the other end of my room. You can see that's like, it's fairly good quality. Um, now this is a Canon 600D, as far as I remember, aware. Uh, now the 600Ds, once again, are really cheap second hand. They're an older camera, but it's as simple as buying them and uh, a cable to take the output out of the camera into your computer and you can have fairly decent quality and you have full control let me just show you is so you can get full control over it let's see the box appear and hopefully it appears no it didn't appear but that doesn't matter no. so there you go you can see it Hello. focusing on me from across the room so you can do crazy things i got really cool things there's the thing uh, it's focusing on my face at the minute uh, and then once it's focused you can turn that off and play <laughs> and it is really good quality as you can see it's far better quality than the webcam that uh, we're using for the stream and my phone as well uh, and once again obs you can add your little Green box wherever green is here this is my green box <laughs> and you can add anything onto it and uh, yeah it is really good quality you can buy light attachments for them you can buy your microphones you can buy anything for it um, and oh let's let's check out my really cool light so yes please let's go <laughs> so this is literally a light from uh b and bargains i think so let's see what i got down about there so 
I know I'm not like really bright here, but it makes the light a little bit better. Uh, so B and M bargains is really cheap place. It's kind of like Poundland. I think you can buy them in Poundland too. Uh, and it's just an LED light bulb with a controller, and it's literally just put into a normal lamp, and it's just facing the back wall. And I can change colors. Look at that. Woo. Uh, can even like I think you can like have a disco setting or something here. Yeah, yes. like that. Strobes. Let's yeah. go. Like that I think the lamp cost me two pounds or something and the bulb cost me like the bulb was free. My sister had the bulb. My sister Aaron came up one day and was like, I'm throwing this out, do you want it? And I was like, ah, I'll use it for something. Look at that. It's class. I can have discos yeah, in here. Yeah, are we in Cookstown or Ayanapa? What's going on, man? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, is that a cool... Oh, look at that fade, man. Look. See. Ah, mint, like. That is mint. Simple things. So simple. And it cost nothing, really. No more than a fiver. Even if you were to buy the bulb, they're like a pound, two pound. And it makes a l so much difference to this. Like, if I literally... How do you turn this off? I've got like lights going on there, but it's kind of dull and crap yeah. looking. Back that boy on. <whistles> that? Not that red. That's just that's dank. Oh, how long? Yeah. Really, really like so simple, but things like that can make such a big difference to your live stream, uh, and. I urge a lot of people to actually just look into it. Uh, you may not want to spend the money, uh, but for the guts of between 100 and 200 pounds, you can have a fairly good live streaming setup. Uh, and uh, yes, the green box is optional in the live streaming. So you don't actually have to have the green box. We can get rid but of it. But highly recommended. Though. Highly recommended. How, right, how do I do this? Look at this boy here. Right, just, just knock him out. Just, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. There you go. No more green. No! We don't need green. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's it's simple things I got. And even simple stuff like having guitars in the background as well can sort of add to your stream. Uh, it can yeah, it's, look it's, a bit more musical and stuff like that. And like, at yeah, the end so of the day, I'm in my bedroom uh, in the attic, living the, living the lockdown life. <laughs> living the rock star life man. yeah so it, it's really simple things like that that can make all the difference welcome back Grim. hey Violent noise so yeah let's just switch back hiya yeah like hey yeah um now I know a lot of people don't have the money to afford maybe a DSLR and stuff like that. Uh, but even a light like that on your phone camera or whatever. Uh, I don't even think it's picking up on my phone camera. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I see this here. This is great. Sweet. Sorry, Graham, you can't see. I don't like oh, green being left out and all this kind of stuff. Uh, boom. Yay, there we go. So, what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> Musician. Delicious. <laughs> love the audio from that, that I can hear anyway. I've got a lovely webcam feed coming straight Oh yeah, Graham's only hearing the lovely webcam footage or sound. Everyone else is hearing this. But yeah, it's, you know, lights, things like that can make a big difference to what's going on. Big ugly, yeah. like, smoke alarm in the top here. But, like, apart from that, um, you could have this set up right somewhere and make it look far better. I don't know, just let this is what I have to look at big green boss <laughs> but yeah um, there is really simple things you can do to make your live stream really good sorry now everyone's looking at what green's looking at ah there we go 
Hey. So yeah, really, really simple things that you can look into to make your live stream a lot better. Um, and it goes all the way from simple things like uh, using lights, better lighting, even if it's with your phone, with your webcam, whatever it is. Lighting makes a big, big difference to what's going on. And then you can step up your video game. You can go from a webcam. You can go to your phone. You can use either or with the likes of OBS to make it look a bit more professional with your backdrops, social media, bits and pieces, text, whatever it is. And then another step up from that is buying a cheap DSLR. Uh, now, I'll probably do a video on that because... Uh, what happens with some DSLRs is they need capture cards, which it's more or less about ninety nine percent of them need capture cards to use it properly. But there's a wee bit. There's YouTube videos to show you the way around that. But I'll maybe do a video myself to show people how to, you know, hack the system. <laughs> but uh, there is a lot of easy ways to do this, and I suggest people to look into it and yeah hopefully what the tips i've give will help a few people out have you got any more questions graham uh none the none nah, none new ones that i can think of uh i guess if it'd be helpful for me and everybody else if we did just sort of a quick from the ground up free not so free i know you kind of did that already but just to kind of yeah. group them into categories so like so, uh no money whatsoever find a good location fix your backdrop tidy up a wee bit like get a little specific corner that you're going to do your streams in yeah so the three things you can do is tidy up find a good location that looks well from the get-go or even just moving a few things around uh there are things that are really free everyone's got a phone probably everyone's got a laptop with a webcam on it uh so uh, get them I'd urge everyone to look into OBS even if it's just to add titles and backdrops and stuff like that because it does just make it look a bit more professional uh, yeah. even if you have crappy webcam audio uh, OBS can make it look better uh, with the, the stuff going on around it uh, it's free so look into that uh, it takes a bit of sitting down and looking through it um, all, yeah it's honestly just uh, free things that you can do around your house like uh, setting up a half decent corner with uh, half decent you know maybe if you can turn off a couple of lights in your house uh, don't have to have them all on or something like that because you get a bit overexposed and stuff uh, yeah do stuff like that um, after that uh, spend a bit of money would be looking into the likes of an audio interface an iRig or something like that to make your audio better uh, now I'd, it's kind of the best place to I'd kind of urge everyone to start at this point to think about spending money that other sort of say stuff is more for people that you know which a lot of people are at the moment they don't have the money to spend uh, but you know maybe put a few pounds away just to do this or if you have a bit sitting there it doesn't cost you much uh even an irig for 20 quid and a light for a uh, 10 or 20 quid or something like that just to give things a bit more of a professional look you're not spent you're about to spend about 50 quid uh, at the very most there uh so buying there's lights on amazon uh these LED sort of lights, LED strips, everything. Uh, they cost 10, 15 pound at the very most. Um, and then really from there, it's, well, you can buy the focus rate pack. It's around about 150 quid. It sorts all your audio out. It'll yep. give you really good audio. You get your microphone and everything with it. Excuse me. And uh, you can... Uh, you basically get a microphone with it that'll do for your vocals and then if you're playing guitar as well you can plug your guitar into the interface along with it guitar vocals sussed 100 percent, and you won't have to worry about it and then probably buying the likes of better quality lights um which you don't really really necessarily need 
uh, because all that we touched on there, like the stuff on Amazon and those mm-hmm. wee LED lights, it's really all you need for the house. Uh, but then the next step would be the likes of OBS, uh, uh, getting your DSLR into it, uh, or buying a DSLR, sorry. Uh, now they're probably between about £100, £200 on Amazon. Or, or eBay, sorry. I'm starting to lose my, my train of thought here. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so eBay, it, uh, the one that we just used there now is a Canon 600D. Uh, and I'll maybe do, I'll do another video to show you how to set uh, that up and other Canon cameras and stuff. But uh, uh, buying a DSLR is a big, big step up in your game. Uh, another thing we didn't actually talk about was the little uh, stereo mics that you can buy for iPhones, uh, phones and stuff. Uh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's just like you can, I think, road make them, and they're just like uh, uh, they plug in. I think they're lightning ad- air cables for iPhones. You can buy one for normal phones and stuff, but you just plug it in, and you've got uh, normally a stereo setup on it. If it's it's normally like a space pair, like an X Y, some of them you can actually change and stuff, and just plug straight in, no Y rig, no nothing really needed. If you just want to do that, you know, it acts as it's a condenser microphone. You set it up at a bit far away from you and play, and it does make a big big difference. Uh, that would be some of them are dearer than others, but uh, I just just look into it before you buy them uh, sometimes the iRig and the focus right and other sort of options may be a bit better but it is another option uh, but yeah apart from that uh, the DSLR and something like that focus right pack would probably be the higher end of uh, of it if you were to buy both you're maybe talking 350 400 pound or something like that uh, so it is it is the other end of it uh, yeah but there is options there for working with what you've got, uh, using your phone in a decent spot in your house and uh, stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of people doing it already, getting a lot of good response. So there's no reason why you can't get either. Yeah. Apart from that, I think that's really it. Yeah, I mean, all that advice that you just give is applicable to any pre-recorded cover videos people want to do as well. Yeah, like all of mo- most of that's pretty applicable yeah. to that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we were in terms of like about, making it look better. Yeah, most of the stuff we we're talking about, uh, it can be transferred over instead of live videos, just normal videos. You yep. know, uh, so uh, if you were to shoot like. Well, if you go onto our Facebook page, you'll actually see a video that uh, me, uh, William Martin from the band Super Soaker, uh, Matthew Ryan from the band Dyad, and Kieran O'Kane from Dyad as well, uh, did a Biffy Claro video. And uh, it uh, was more or less all of us recording everything individually at home and videoing it all individually. Uh, and it turned out really well uh, but uh, you can see the different sort of you know me sitting in here in this room with the DSLR video of myself and then there was uh, William was uh, had just found like a white backdrop in his house and a door and just video himself there there was no real like you know like you look behind me you can see these funny things in my wall because uh, this is the attic and uh, this room needs uh, done up but uh, there was nothing like that on the wall no real like blemishes or nothing like that it was just a nice sort of corner uh, yeah. and then uh, Kieran was obviously he had the thing above his drum kit which was really 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 cool it just looked really professional it's sitting above the drum kit it was like a drum cam from like a live video or something uh, so like if you're a drummer like something like that's really cool uh, just f- like that is a big thing just finding where to set the camera and like a really good looking space for actually shooting yeah. the video uh, and then there was uh, Maddie's. he had uh, done his in the living room 
with this like fireplace and everything in the backdrop and uh, like once again it wasn't like bland looking walls and stuff like that it uh, wasn't anything like ugly looking it was a fireplace and uh, it looked interesting enough and then a big pink guitar in the middle of it so you know a lot of nice uh, aesthetics going on but uh, if you check that video out you can see a few different sort of scenarios that were going on there uh, but all these stuff that we talked about in the video can be transferred over to uh, shooting videos in your house if it's a pre-recorded video or if it's a music video like a lockdown music video type thing uh, but yeah apart from that I'm honestly dry out of ideas uh, yeah. that's uh, unless you're going obviously outside that well there's another thing doing it outside and stuff like that you have natural light blah blah and it's it's outside it's interesting yeah everyone wants to be outside right now i, I need to go outside <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah apart from that um that's the best few tips that i can give anyone uh, uh with a few different sort of budgets in mind uh, and I hope honestly it's helped a few people out uh, if you didn't get into this live stream and are watching it uh, afterwards uh, and want to ask any questions hit us up in the comments or private messages and hopefully we can work it out and I hope that helped you as well Graham hope that it we're going to see some class videos oh yeah some cool live streams <laughs> eventually uh, but actually on that I just see your TV in the background there if you head over to the Super Soaker Instagram and Facebook page uh, you can see their interesting little videos that they've been doing now they're all pre-recorded videos but uh, uh, Graham has uh, done some very interesting ones with <laughs> uh, I think he did like um, that sort of green screeny type thing with a tv and yeah. uh, you also did uh, the one with the tv sitting there with the logo and all on the tv yeah. you know that's budget af like yeah that was that was some jerry rig vibes i have a google chromecast <laughs> is to thank for some of that class and the chroma key tool in adobe premiere ah right and, and, and indeed quite a lot of other pieces of software <laughs> and loads of YouTube videos. You don't have to have a green screen no, necessarily, by the way. Right. If you have a big blank white wall and it's the lighting is vaguely even at all, like not a lot of shadows. Yeah, you kind of have to like uh, blast the light out and get as much shadow out of that wall as possible. Yeah. You yeah. Can, uh, and even on like the likes of Zoom and stuff like that, uh, if you're doing those Zoom parties and stuff, you can fire crappy backgrounds on if you really want. You know, if there's, yeah. if you do have a really bad space that you're doing, you're streaming. But yeah, there's there's cool things like that, really budget things, like have a TV set up beside you or something like that. But yeah, I will probably finish the video by once again saying I urge everyone to look at something like OBS and uh, see what they can do in it and yeah uh, enjoy making videos and I hope this has helped some people Joanne Mills thank you guys thank you Joanne thank you <laughs> thank you uh, yeah thanks very much for watching uh, unless you have anything else Graham I think we've covered everything no, no, uh, I just want to maybe put a wee plug for what we're going to do next week. The cool little idea that we've got going on. What are we doing next week, Graham? You know the thing about the song. What's the thing about the song, Graham? That we're both, that we're both really excited for. <laughs> so, the, uh, so I had this I had this really good idea that I'm regretting at the minute uh, where we're going to write a song <laughs> in an hour. Yes. Using we are. a roulette. <laughs> yeah, using a roulette wheel. Uh to choose the, the key and quite possibly the genre of the song or the lyrics yeah oh the lyric topic we're choosing the lyric topics yes individually uh, so i'll choose five or will choose five and we're not going to tell each other what they are until the day of the recording i just hope we don't pick the same yeah and we're just gonna fire it out and try and do the most we can in that hour to write the song and then after the hour we're gonna go and 
record the song as well and then probably release it and it's going to be yeah. amazing and I hope we don't have to do any country music <laughs> that's 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 down to the gods of the roulette wheel Lauren unfortunately whatever yeah. whatever they believe yeah well I, I actually think it's going to be really fun uh, yeah it's go- it's going to be something different for us and a little bit interesting and it sort of leads us to uh, what we're trying to do this year and uh, it it wasn't really something we planned on but the whole coronavirus thing uh, made us uh, sort of rethink things and uh, we're going to be focusing a lot more on these videos and our YouTube channel and stuff like that uh, you can actually see the YouTube channel uh, thing up there so if you haven't yet please head on over to our youtube and subscribe and check out our instagram and our facebook as well obviously if you're on this video you're on our facebook but our instagram's on there too and we post some cool stories of us talking crap and pictures of my dog pictures of my dog are on instagram stories so get pictures of his dog uh yeah so uh thanks very much everyone for watching Join us next week. There will be a post up on Facebook and Instagram when we're going to be going live. But join us next week for the one hour song challenge. And thank you very much for watching. See you all later. Goodbye.